Hi everybody, as we continue our week-long look at building our Avengers, today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Thor Marvel's Ragnarok. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. All right, here's a closer look at Thor in the package. Now, this is Marvel's Ragnarok, but to me, this is a classic Thor, and thankfully, they give us the classic Thor head. I'm not really happy that the eyes are bright red. I understand that that's you know, signature to, uh, to Ragnarok here. I don't know a lot about this character. I don't know much about him at all, but I'm glad that um, uh, he looks like classic Thor. You've got the classic Thor head. You can switch out his robotic hand, and I love this swinging Mjolnir uh, effect. It just looks great. So this is going to be a perfect Thor to go with my uh, 20th anniversary uh, Hulk and Cap and Iron Man and maybe one day they'll give us a 20th anniversary Thor spinning around here on the side You can see some nice artwork there same artwork there and then same artwork there And then there's a little write-up and if you want to read that You can uh, pause it right there and do so but I am ready to get this guy opened up and See everything he comes with and see how he stacks up against the other adventures We've been looking at all week. All right here. We have Thor opened up and out of the package and man he doesn't come with like a ton of stuff, but what he comes with is pretty amazing. Um, uh, right here, just taking a look at Mjolnir, uh, you can see that it does have the inscription, whosoever, um, you know, hold the hammer. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, it does rotate on the, on, on the handle of the hammer and it does have a little loop at the bottom. But the fact that they got that, you know, sculpted in there and it just looks so nice that's that's incredible and they carried that over and have that same inscription on every one of these one two three four five six seven eight hammerheads that's just absolutely incredible that they did that and of course if you hold um, the handle here you can spin it and this does spin pretty well that's that's really cool that's a really nice effect so you've got the inscription, the painted hammerhead, and then the the painted um, handle, the pommel, and then where the strap would come. You can see how it's got even a little sculpted strap. Little clear um, plastic um, swirling effects on, on the inside, which makes me think that this whole thing, um, uh, minus the hammerheads, because they look like they were inserted in each one, um, it looks like uh, all of this might be that that clear plastic. Yeah, it looks like even the handles are and they just painted on top of it. So that's super impressive. That's probably one of the coolest accessories I've ever seen in my life. Um, he does come with a left gripping hand to replace the robotic hand over here. And he does come with an additional head. So this is like your regular Thor head, except um, the eyes are red and there's no white in there and there's no pupils. Um, you do have that marbled swirly kind of um, silver on the helmet, which does not look bad to me at all. Um, kind of looks appropriate. You do have the wings, which are very soft and pliable, but they look nice and very nicely sculpted. And then you have his hair and I see just the faintest hint of some lighter dry brushing uh, on the hair as well. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt that comes on him, you can see um, that same kind of marbled swirly silver for the helmet. The wings are just as soft and pliable um, as the uh, other ones are, and the hair is still nicely sculpted and uh, nice lighter color dry brushing on there. Turning it around here uh, on the front, you can see like if we get this out of the way, you can see that it's a fully sculpted robotic eye socket uh, jawbone and teeth sculpted onto the head, the eyes more exposed, and you do get more of a grimacing look on his face. But you see the eyes a lot more, um, which is really cool. You have some nice silver for the circles, and, and even though we have a brown belt, like the gold part of the belt is even like a, a different color gold, and it says, you know, it's got the T on there. There's some very nice vein work sculpted into his arms. 
Um, these are not the pinless joints because this is an older figure. So we do have the, the, the pin joints and then the nice sculpted wraps that look really, really like they are wrapped around there. I mean, the sculpt on those are super nice. Uh, and then you do have the robotic hand, which hinges, hinges up like that. So let's get all these parts and pieces kind of swapped out and see what, um, like what I mostly, oh, so the wristbands are a separate piece that could come off. Um, they're not sculpted on. Um, and have a little paint splooch right there. Uh, let's see how easy it is to, um, oh, the head pops off super nicely. And then there is uh, the regular Thor head um, put on instead of like the Ragnarok head. Um, I, you know, part of me wants to go in there and paint those eyes and, you know, with white and a little bit of blue. Uh, but uh, I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to leave it be. Uh, and then um, turning the attention around to the sculpt of the cape, it is a pretty heavy piece. You see that it does drape down really low, but there is a nice wash to it to bring out like the highlights of the red cape and then the dark washes and the recesses. So the cape looks really nice and flows nice, but he doesn't come with a stand or anything. So he's definitely gonna need a base um, to, uh, to stand on on my shelf when I finish my Avengers this week uh, because uh, he doesn't come with one. Uh, here he is holding his hammer uh, and that's how he looks there. Super nice and very classic Thor-like. And then if you wanted him uh, holding this piece uh, it looks like they give him a little extra meat uh, on his hand right here if you can see that so that uh, he can hold that uh, that um, uh, strap uh, because this is a heavy accessory uh, and there you have it that's what he looks like twirling his Mjolnir around and ready to do some damage so he looks really, really nice. Let's go ahead and get this hammer uh, in his hand because I think this is how he's probably gonna just go on my shelf is just holding aloft the mighty millionaire. You know, like something like that. He, that's probably how he's gonna go on my shelf. Um, I would have liked like some lightning effects or something like that, but you know what? I've got so many lightning effects that I can, I can, uh, I can find something that I have um, to work. So, let's get this guy standing up straight. Hopefully he'll stand up for us and not fall over. And let's bring in the other Avengers that we've been looking at this week. And I think he's going to, because, you know, he is a god, I think he's going to be standing a little bit taller. Uh, and I am right, he is standing taller than Iron Man. He is standing taller than Captain America. But... He is definitely not standing as tall as the Incredible Hulk. So that's how he scales with the rest of our Avengers. Let's get these guys out of the way. And let's get old Thor here under some lighting, into some backgrounds. And uh, let's see how he poses up. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've had a Thor figure. And uh, I'm digging this one. I love the, the classic... Um, the classic style of the costume. I think he fits in nice with that 20th anniversary. Who knows if we're going to get any more 20th anniversary figures at this point. I haven't seen or heard of any others being announced or anything like that. So I don't know if this, um, oh yeah, I think we have seen a few more. Like, aren't they making like a toad or something like that? Um, maybe they are making more. I, I don't keep up with enough Marvel legend news to know what's going on. You guys correct me and let me know what I'm missing and what I'm screwing up on down in the comments down below. But I love this guy. He looks great. He's going to fit in nicely with the rest of my Avengers. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Thanks for all the likes, the comments, the new subscribers. You guys are amazing. I say it every time, but I honestly, I truly truly mean it you guys mean the world to me and I appreciate each and every one of you so please check us out over at instagram.com slash Saturday morning toy collector this has been the Saturday morning toy collector I'm your host Mark and I will see you in the toy aisles